dear friends, it's Easter, Easter Sunday 2020. What a day it is. I'm sure this Easter none of us will ever forget this day. But isn't it wonderful that the Jesus who died on a cross for us was raised on the third day, never to die again, and that changed everything for all eternity. The Apostle Paul was so right when he said, if Christ has not been raised, your faith is futile and you are still in your sins. Then those also who have fallen asleep in Christ have perished. If in Christ we have hope in this life only, we are of all people most to be pitied. But in fact, Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. My dear, dear friends, today we rejoice with exceedingly great joy because in fact, Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. And so we say, Alleluia, Christ is risen. Alleluia, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed, Alleluia. And now, dear friends, let's sing together. Maybe some of you want to grab a bell or something like that. And um, together, sing joyfully as maybe you ring those bells as we sing, Jesus Christ is risen today. Colossians 3, verses 1 through 4. If then you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things that are above, not on the things that are on earth. 
for you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is your life, appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Christ is risen. He is risen risen indeed. Alleluia. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to John chapter 20. Glory to you, Lord Christ. Now on the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb early, while it was still dark, and saw that the stone had been taken away from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one whom Jesus loved, and said to them, They have taken the Lord out of the tomb, and we do not know where they have laid him. So Peter went out with the other disciple, and they were going toward the tomb. Both of them were running together, but the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first. And stooping to look in, he saw the linen cloths lying there, but he did not go in. Then Simon Peter came, following him, and went into the tomb. He saw the linen cloths lying there, and the face cloth, which had been on Jesus' head, not lying with the linen cloths, but folded up in a place by itself. Then the other disciple, who had reached the tomb first, also went in, and he saw and believed. For as yet they did not understand the scripture, that he must rise from the dead. Then the disciples went back to their homes. But Mary stood weeping outside the tomb, and as she wept she stooped to look into the tomb, and she saw two angels in white sitting where the body of Jesus had lain, one at the head and one at the feet. They said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, They have taken away my Lord, and I do not know where they have laid him. Having said this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing, but she did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you seeking? Supposing him to be the gardener, she said to him, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have laid him, and I will take him away. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him in Aramaic, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, Do not cling to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brothers and say to them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord, and that he had said these things to her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. Hallelujah. Christ is risen. He is is risen risen indeed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.